Hello Flash fans welcome here. Iris may have been exiled to the Phantom Zone as a result of teen runaway Tinya's acts in The Flash Season 8. The extra-dimensional prison world has been seen in the Arrowverse before, most notably in the last season of Supergirl. If the Arrowverse version of Tinya possesses all of the powers of her comic book counterpart, it might now tie into The Flash's tale. Tinya was introduced as the Coast City Phantom in The Flash Season 8 Episode 9 Phantoms, as the first recorded metahuman in Coast City's history and one of the few metahumans from outside of Central City. Iris West Allen and her companion Sue Darebon went to Coast City in search of the enigmatic meta in order to write a narrative about them. Their intentions were thwarted when they discovered Tinya was a teen runaway fleeing an abusive foster home while looking for her real mother, who had placed her for adoption when she was a baby. Tinya is based on Tinya Wazoo, a member of the Legion of Superheroes who used the codenames Phantom Girl, Phase, and Apparition to fight crime in comic books. Her ability to ghost-like travel through solid things made her an excellent candidate for the Legion's espionage squad. Tinya, on the other hand, was unusual among her planet's inhabitants in that she possessed the ability to enter and depart the Phantom Zone at whim. Tinya's attack on Iris in the Flash Season 8 Episode 11 Resurrection was spurred by the accident. Iris and Sue were followed back to their hotel suite by the heartbroken adolescent, who believed Iris had killed her mother and damaged her one shot at a stable family life. Sue attempted to shield Iris, but Tinya just raced right past her and grabbed Iris, who vanished in a flurry of pink light. Sue demanded to know what Tinya had done, and the youngster threatened to do the same to her if she attempted to track her out again. Sue returned to Central City rather than pursue the matter, delivering the dreadful news about Iris to her husband despite having no explanation for what had happened to Iris. It's possible that the solution might be found in the original Legion of Superheroes comics. There is considerable debate about whether Tinya Wazoo can lend her intangibility to other persons and objects, such as Kitty Pride from the X-Men. While some stories said it was impossible, later comics showed Tinya phasing other people and items, despite the fact that it put her under a lot of stress. This appears to be the case for Arrowverse Tinya Wazoo, who was initially seen by Iris West Allen and Sue Dearborn in the Flash Season 8 Episode 9 Phantoms, phasing a notepad into her backpack. Tinya possesses all of the other talents of the Legion of Superheroes Phantom Girl, thus it's reasonable to assume she can reach the Phantom Zone as well, despite being a metahuman rather than an alien from another world. While Tinya trapping Iris in the Phantom Zone appears to be a viable explanation for what happened in the Flash Season 8 Episode 11 Resurrection, it does seem improbable from a storytelling standpoint. Due to the manipulations of the Mirror Monarch, Iris was stuck in the parallel realm known as Mirror World for the second part of the Flash Season 6 and into the start of the Flash Season 7, resulting in a lengthy narrative. Many fans were dissatisfied with the plot. The same may be said for Supergirl's first half of Season 6, when she was stranded in the Phantom Zone for numerous episodes. Both tales slowed the pace of their respective series for a long period, so it's doubtful that the creators of The Flash would repeat the same fundamental premise in the hopes that it will work better and be accepted this time. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.